everyone, welcome back to my channel Art Girl Funky. My name is Burgess, I'm a self-taught leisure painter and today I'll be using this. Oops, this, 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 this. This is a cake brush which I, as you can see, I cut off for many reasons. I might explain that to you at some point but today I'll be using this large brush to paint winter, wintry trees. So, uh, Let's get to the painting and uh, see how it turns out. Follow along if you like. If not, just sit back, have a cup of coffee and watch and enjoy. And I'll come back to you straight after that. Well, this one's done on a 140 pound uh, watercolor paper with a, with a knot surface, one that I'm um, wetting down first of all, and then laying a wash of uh, uh, raw sienna on raw sienna. Um, I'm also adding you know, other colors like uh, Crimson alizarin, ultramoon blue, and uh, Payne's grey for the sky. I then sort of uh, let it dry off. Well, the brush I'm using is a hockey brush, which um, is a really hard brush to use actually, especially if you're a beginner. Now, if you, uh, this is actually my, I would say, 10, 15th attempt at, at a painting using this brush. Um, if you look at my introductory video, now this one, I'm, 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 I'm adding the distant trees here using um, burnt sienna. I love burnt sienna actually, it's a lovely colour and I'm just adding that with the tip of the brush. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a hard brush to use and if you go back to my introductory video, the first one, you'll notice that quite a few of my paintings there are done using the, this Hake brush and some of them are great, some of them not, they're not so great, so I wasn't really happy with those. So now, now I'm adding some uh, branches and things in those uh, distant trees using a what looks like a rigger brush but it wasn't a rigger brush when I used when I when I got it. It was actually a round brush, a cheap brand that I cut up, and I might actually explain to you how I did that. It's fairly simple. I mean, I do have other um, good quality rigger brushes, but I'm a little bit nervous to bring them out. Actually, the reason being that I'm not painting at home, and uh, I, I have been known to drop things and leave things behind. And uh, at one time, I came back came back to the room where I was painting and one of my brushes was lying on the fl floor. Um, luckily nobody picked it up so I'm a little bit nervous to bring out my good quality stuff outside actually because I, since I'm not painting at home. So I've done those, um, those, those branches and I'm now going to go back in with the Hake brush which has a nice a, sort of a chiseled edge there. Um, get, even getting that chiseled edge is a, is a bit of a challenge and I'm just trying to put in the uh, uh, ground cover there and um, you'll see the blank spaces underneath that will be the water and I'll put in some reflections there as well. The colours I'm using here are burnt umber with uh, some black which comes out really nice actually. Burnt umber and black make a really nice dark dark colour. Now I'm using the edge of this um, uh, homemade rigger uh, to create branches of trees and, and, and things like that. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, if you're if you're if you really want to start using the rigger, um, I would really urge you to watch a few channels first to see how it's done. And I I spent weeks and weeks and weeks uh, doing that. And uh, the reason I started was because I was inspired by some of my favorite artists, um, uh, people like Steve Cronin, Joe Menza, Dave Usher. They've used this and they've really done a lovely job and. Their teaching methods are really nice and you can just follow along with whatever they're doing and it comes out really nice. I mean, this painting, to be fair, can be done using any brush, I would say, any round brush, any flat brush, any soft brush, anything. But um, I, I really wanted to try this technique and I'm going to carry on using this um, um, this Hake brush technique. I know I said hake in my introduction, but it's some people say it's Hake, some people pronounce it hake. I just find it easier to pronounce it hake actually, it just rolls off my tongue more easily than saying hake. So I'm just putting more of, of these um, trees trees in, bare trees, they're winter trees actually. I forgot to mention that this um, this is not an imaginary picture, it, the uh, picture reference come from, comes from uh, Pixabay and Pixabay is, Pixabay is actually a nice resource if you want to be able to um, uh, paint but you can't get out and about and do your sketchings and sketching and stuff like that which I can't actually because I don't live in a location where 
um, scenery like this is readily available. So I do have to resort to or rely on uh, Pixabay and other, other, other sources. So yeah, I'm just putting in more trees here. And this will just carry on like that. Um, I, I don't know whether you enjoy painting. I mean, I, I do enjoy painting as well. But um, the thing with the hake brush or the hake brush is that you really do need to practice every day in order to improve. My my first uh, my first attempt was actually a disaster, especially the sky. I don't I can manage the trees and things and the foreground, but the sky was really really difficult. And there are certain types of skies I would I still want to try and paint, but um, I haven't actually got around to that yet. But uh, I, w I will do that. I do have several other um, sceneries that I want to try and paint using the hake and I'm hoping that maybe, and I will record them and upload them on, the, on my channel, and I'm hoping that, uh, um, you know, I'll improve. I mean, my, this is my, you know, my YouTube journey is all about trying to improve my art and to share my art journey with everybody and to see how I progress over the years. Um, I'm not saying I'm a great painter. I mean, I make mistakes just like most people. I mean, I'm not great at color mixing and sometimes my brush strokes go funny and some, it's, it's just a question of learning. And if you're, if you're a beginner looking at this, then uh, don't worry, you can, you can do it, but you have to, you need to practice every day. I'm now putting the reflections in. Um, it's a very watery mixture actually. And I'm using the, the chiseled edge of the brush, which I managed to get at that point. Uh, getting the chiseled edge is a, another challenge actually and it's not always easy and it's it comes with practice you just need to know how much water to have in the brush or not to have in the brush um, because the, uh, re the this hake brush is made of um, goat hair it can soak up a lot of water so you really need to um, be sure that you're not um, overloading it um, when you're doing the sky certainly and various other things. Now, the, the trees that I painted there are, are sort of a fairly stiff mixture and um, I do use, you can't, for this kind of uh, painting, using this type of brush, you can't use an ordinary palette. Now, what happened there was that I turned the camera off and I forgot to turn it back on again, so I apologize for that, but the um, washes that were laid down there were things like burnt umber, burnt sienna, ultramarine blue, uh, a yellow ochre and while it's a fairly stiff mixture um, and then I scraped the um, uh, stones out with the side of a, 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 a card, a plastic card. I like using the store cards because they have the right flexibility. Now once I've done that I'm putting in a bit more shadows um, in between the rocks just to give them a bit of form. But the stiff mixture that you lay down before you start scraping has to be uh, fairly stiff but not so stiff that it doesn't move. If it's watery, the um, when you scrape the uh, water, the, the, the paint will start running back on itself and you won't get this clear stony effect. If it's too stiff, it'll just sink, and sink into the paper and you won't actually get rocks forma rock formations at all. Now on the right here, I'm adding a little, some extra branches and things just to give it some, I don't, I don't know, uh, maybe I, I think I shouldn't have done that. I wish I hadn't done that actually because um, um, I just did it and uh, once I'd done it, I just realized that was a bad idea, very bad idea. It just seemed like it wasn't necessary. I mean, having a blank space there is, in my view, the le less is more, um, less is more. So um, now I'm coming to the end of this painting um, soon. So I do hope you enjoyed it. Um, please do like, subscribe, share and press the bell icon. And uh, I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you very much for watching and... Um, uh, happy painting! Well, that was my wintry tree painting. What did you think? Well, I'm still learning. I mean, I'm not saying I'm perfect with this brush. This brush is not my friend, but I will persevere. I will persevere. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, please like, subscribe and press the bell icon. And share this video with as many people as you possibly can and do watch for my next video hope to see you soon bye